A pro basketball player from North Texas who plays in Israel was there when the war broke out. He has returned home safely. Fox 4 Stephen Dial has TJ Klein's first hand account and Steve, TJ is the son of basketball Hall of Famer Nancy Lieberman. TJ Klein is happy to be back home in North Texas, but he says his heart is still with his teammates that are still with their families in Israel, and he's praying that this war comes to an end. The 12, the 1, the 2, the 5 all got canceled. We were the only ones that made it out that night. TJ Klein, the son of basketball Hall of Famer Nancy Lieberman, has played professionally overseas in multiple countries. He's currently playing for Hapol Elat, a team in Israel near Jordan, getting ready for the season opener. But suddenly, in the midst of war, he and his American teammates were forced to evacuate, taking an emergency flight to Athens. He landed in Dallas Thursday night. Like, I'm not joyous because I'm home, because I want to be over there doing my job and being with the Israeli people and what I signed a contract for. But I think, like, the best word is probably relief. Klein shared with us the video he recorded when his flight out of Israel landed. Klein told us about meeting up with his team shortly after the war started and the tense moments, even in Elat, which is said to be one of the safer parts of Israel. Everybody's just running through the promenade, just like, run, run, Balagan, Balagan. Balagan means like mess in Hebrew. So he was running out, and then after like five minutes, they were like, okay, it's, and then there were soldiers running around, like, you know, checking the situation, and no one knew who it was. There were tweets, hey, Hamas is on foot. So I like, I called my mom, and I was like, hey, I'm just letting you know, like, it's the scariest, scariest I've been. I just wanted to update you on what's going on. In Israel, men and women are trained in the military when they become a certain age, preparing them if they ever are called back. That happened this week for some of Klein's teammates. My starting point guard got sent back. We had practice Monday. Where is he though? Oh, he's at the Army. Where's Orr? Tuesday. Yeah, he's at the Army. It's like, wait, what? Like, that's when it got real for us. And it became even more real on Friday morning when Klein's team posted this picture on social media. The person in the picture played for the team's youth division. He was killed this week. He had been taken, and in, in, in that situation, um, I mean, it just kind of hits a little bit closer um, because he's a supporter of what we do. And obviously, it's not like those people are, are more significant, but it's like when you have someone who's in your internal team and your family and your, you know, lots of family, like every team is a family in Israel. Like it's, it's so, so spiritual, but so connective because you have to be over there that I think it really, it was just a sad thing. While he is eager to get back to doing the thing he loves, Klein says the focus is on lives and people's safety. Like, I mean, there was not one person that I came in contact with in the time after the, from Saturday till when I left Tuesday, that didn't have a friend or family member who was either taken, killed, as a hostage, was at the event, and I think we're all really excited to get back, comma, when this ends. No one cares about basketball more than people's lives. And one of Klein's teammates is actually from Lancaster, Michael Kaiser, who won state championship with Lancaster multiple years ago, he's still in the process of making his way back to the Dallas area. Stephen, thank you.